Health care reform. You've probably heard about it on the news, read about it in the paper. But what is it? And what does it really mean to you and you as part of the BJC family? Confused? Hey, we get it. You're not alone. This can be some complicated stuff. But don't worry. We're doing the homework. And if you have a few minutes, we'll give you the basics. In 2010, President Barack Obama signed into law the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. That's a mouthful. So some folks call it Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, or just health care reform. What's not short is the law itself. In fact, the law and regulations are more than a thousand pages long and growing. And that's not even double-spaced. But over the past few years, organizations like BJC have worked hard to understand it and make sure they're following the new rules. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start with what the government is trying to do with the law. It boils down to three goals. One, make sure every American has health insurance and it doesn't cost them an arm and a leg. Two, keep the general cost of health care from going through the roof. And three, make sure the medical care we get is high on quality and low on waste. Lofty? You bet. Will the law get us there? It depends on who you ask, but one thing is for sure. The law means changes for many groups, including companies, health systems, and individuals. So let's focus on them. If you're in a BJC or other organization's medical plan, maybe you noticed some of the changes that already happened, like parents being able to cover their kids until they turn 26, or free preventive care. In 2014, you'll notice more. Organizations that offer health plans will be charged fees to help support the new state health insurance marketplaces, also commonly referred to as the exchanges. You may see higher premiums for your coverage that will help pay these fees. Many employers, like BJC, have already recognized that rising health care costs affect employees, too, so they've made changes to their benefit plans to try to control cost increases, like offering incentives to get or stay healthy. As for individuals, the law says that starting in 2014, every American has to have health insurance or pay a penalty. Those whose companies don't offer a qualifying plan and who meet certain income requirements can get a subsidy. To make sure everyone can find coverage, the government will be launching state-by-state -state health insurance marketplaces. You'll be hearing a lot about these, so let's take a second to explain how they'll work. State marketplaces will be a way to shop for and buy health insurance if you're not offered an employer plan or you choose not to sign up for one. Insurance companies will sell a variety of policies people can buy through the marketplaces, and no one will be denied coverage, even if they have a pre-existing condition. Think of it like shopping for a TV where you compare different sizes, features, and prices, and choose the one that best meets your needs. Oh, and just like you might need to ask an electronics expert for advice, there will be insurance helpers available to answer questions. Keep in mind that if you choose BJC coverage for 2014, you won't be using the marketplaces, but we still wanted you to know about them. Like they say, knowledge is power. And what about 2015? You'll see more changes. For one, large employers will have to offer health insurance to full-time employees or may pay a penalty and the coverage they offer will need to be affordable and meet a minimum value. There are formulas for this but we won't get into the nitty-gritty. Another change likely happening in 2015 is a requirement that employers automatically enroll those employees who can't show they already have medical coverage. We'll fill you in as we know more about these and other potential changes beyond 2015. So that's Healthcare Reform 101 you'll be hearing about changes to BJC medical plans for 2014. For now, by watching this video, you're on your way to becoming a more informed consumer of healthcare.